Hotspots in Storyline are another great way to add interactivity to your courses. And this slide has an example of a hotspot. It's this green area here over top of the femur bone on this skeleton. And although it shows up green here in the authoring environment, hotspots are always going to be invisible to your learners. And you can use them for a number of different things. Let me just preview some slides here and show you some examples. On our skeleton slide here, I've used a hotspot kind of like a button that I want the learner to click on. So the learner needs to evaluate the picture and then find the right place to click. And then when they do click, I've got a trigger attached to that hotspot that reveals some feedback here that tells the learner that they got it right or wrong. And then they can move on. Um, another way that you can use hotspots is as targets in a drag and drop interaction, like on this slide. I've got a hotspot over each of these recycle bins here so that the learner can click and drag these different items into the appropriate bin and then they can get their feedback. You can also use hotspots as the basis for other triggers too, like in this example the learner can hover over each of these characters and I've placed a hotspot over each of them and I've added a trigger that causes a different layer with some additional content to be revealed when the learner hovers their mouse over the hotspot. So you can see how hotspots can be super flexible for all sorts of things. We're going to see how we can add one. So let me just jump to a different slide here where I don't have a hotspot yet. This one will work. And what we want to do is come up to the insert tab and then choose hotspot and you'll have a couple different choices here. You can make it an oval a rectangle or you can draw a freeform shape if you want which is kind of handy if you've got you know kind of a weird shaped object that you want to make part of your interaction an oval is going to work for us though for this example so we'll choose that and then when you choose a shape you're going to get this little crosshair for your cursor and then you can click and drag anywhere on your slide to draw your hotspot and again it's going to show up green here just so that you can see it but your learners aren't going to see it when you publish so once your hotspot's on your slide, it's going to act a little bit like a shape. Like you can, you know, resize it if you want it to be smaller or larger. You can move it to a different place. Um, you could rotate it if you want to. This little green handle up here allows you to rotate it. And if you want to get super precise about its positioning and its size, you can come up to the Format tab and click in the corner of this Size section of the menu. That's going to bring up the Size and Position window, and then you can enter specific values for you know, height, width, rotation, scaling, and so on. So once you've got your hotspot on your slide, what you do with it is up to you. Typically it's going to be used in a trigger or if you maybe convert a slide to a freeform interaction, it might be, become, you know, part of the interaction like we saw with that drag and drop example. For this one though, I've got some layers down here on my slide that I've created and I'm going to create a trigger that makes a specific layer appear when the learner clicks on the hotspot. So to do that, I'm going to select the hotspot and over here in the trigger panel, you can see that Storylines actually already added a trigger for me that to kind of get me started here. And it looks like it's pretty much done al almost. I just need to change the layer. So I don't even have to open the trigger. I can just change the link here from unassigned to the layer that I want to reveal. And that's really all I need to do. If I needed to make further changes though, I could double click that trigger and then get the full trigger wizard and make whatever changes I need to. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how it works. So here's our slide and then when we hover over, um, you can see my cursor is changing to a hand shape and if you don't want that I can show you how to remove it. But when we click on her then there's our layer that appears. So let's see how we can get rid of the pointer hand if you don't want that on there. It's real easy. Um, what you want to do is right click on the hotspot and then you can just unmark this item that says show hand cursor on hover. And now if we uh, unmark that, did I unmark it? Yeah, I did. Okay, just want to make sure that it was really unmarked. And now if we view it again, you're not seeing the hand anymore and I can click and it shows the layer just like we planned. So that's a little bit about hotspots. You can also uh, check out the links at the end of the written tutorial on hotspots. There are a few other tutorials that you might want to take a look at if you need some guidance on how to use the hotspots in a question or an interaction that you've built in your Articulate Storyline course.